Lagos. Its residents proudly call it Nigeria's beating heart, the country's true capital. This financial hub is a crush of people, cars, and commerce. No one can even agree a figure for Lagos's population, but even conservative estimates have it at over 15 million. And now further alarm bells are ringing. A recent government-sponsored report warned that Nigeria's population is set to grow to 213 million by 2050, and most of them will be seeking to come here. Traffic jams can last all day, and the power supply is off more often than it's on. And the concern is that a boom in population will place even more pressure on the infrastructure and the economy, slowing economic growth. But could Nigeria's burgeoning population actually be its ultimate asset? Nigeria poses a very huge market, and for you to make your money, you need to invest in Nigeria because of population, because uh, the market size. Uh, you can't compare Ni Nigeria markets with that of Niger or Benin. And that is why you see a lot of investors flocking into Nigeria. And in spite of Nigeria's huge infrastructure issues, international players simply cannot afford to be absent from a market this size, regardless of the problems associated with doing business here. Lavage is one of the largest building supplies producers in the world. To ensure their production capacity, they've contracted a Nigerian company, Shoreline Power, to build them an on-site power plant. Nigeria is an emerging market, um, and Lafarge is throughout the whole world. Lafarge is today the largest cement producer, and uh, it's strategically based in all over Africa. Um, so Nigeria is a very strong market because of the big population, a lot of development, and Lafarge is actually expanding in uh, this area. The market is buoyant, and uh, we can sell everything in uh, Nigeria. We are paying a bit more to guarantee the continuity of our manufacturing. And as the investors flood in, the Nigerian government is now stepping up its efforts. Lagos State Governor Babatunda Fashala is the man credited with carving out some breathing space for his city's growing population. His projects include reclaiming land and upgrading the much maligned transport and power infrastructure. I think that we have seen improved travel, travel time, efficiency, business growth. This is being relieved today with the bus system that we've put on, the, the intra-city rail system that is on stream now, we've finished procurement, and uh, the expansion of major highways in the state. It's an ongoing process as long as the population is growing, as long as people are procreating. We must plan now to meet the needs of children that will be born tomorrow, but even as the governor strives to upgrade his city, he knows it will take a whole lot to put investors off this booming market. The rewards are there for sure. Progress is being made, even if it's going slow. Nemal Barer, CNN, Lagos.